the subspace is a non empty subset that satisfies the requirements for a vector space the linear combinations stay in the subspace okay if we add any vectors x and y in the subspace x plus y is in the subspace and if we multiply any vector x in the subspace by any scalar c c into x is in the subspace to understand this let us consider an example if we consider m 2 cross 2 space which is a vector space okay so the viewers may want to verify if m2 cross 2 is a vector space using the concepts discussed in the previous video i am here by letting you know that it is a vector space so you may want to check with vector addition and scalar multiplication of m2 cross 2 matrices and come up with your argument and in case of doubts please feel free to write in the comments so i'll be able to reply to the same so now a subset a non empty subset of m2 cross 2 matrix vector space would be a 2 cross 2 symmetric matrix hope viewers agree on this that it is subset that is 2 cross 2 symmetric matrix is subset of m2 cross 2 matrices that is all the matrix of order 2 cross 2 right and for symmetric matrix we know that a is equal to a transpose that is a11 a12 and instead of a21 it would be a12 again that is a12 and a21 would be the same uh values or same uh, elements and a22 would remain as it is and when i write a transpose it would be again the same matrix a11 a12 a12 and a22 that is by interchanging rows and columns doesn't make any difference then we call it as a symmetric matrix hope the viewers are with me on this a is equal to a transpose now if i consider a example uh, a value value based example say so let me erase this part and if i consider two symmetric 2 by 2 matrices for example 1 1 and 1 2 and v to be 2 1 1 minus 1 so these are two cross two matrices and these are sym symmetric that is u and u transpose would make it the same that is if we change the column 1 elements into row 1 elements then it would be 1 1 and again 1 2 so it would make it symmetric or it would be equal u is equal to u transpose similarly v is equal to v transpose that is when we interchange the row and columns they remain the same so v is equal to v transpose so these two are subset or part or elements of subset of m2 cross 2 vector space hope you are able to correlate that u and v are part of subset w if i define it as w a subset of m2 cross 2 space or set right now let me see if u plus v falls in that same subset right if i do corresponding elements addition 3 2 2 and 2 minus 1 addition is 1 so if i term this as resultant r then you see that 
our transpose is again 3 2 that is interchanging column to row right again second column as second row 2 1 you see that r is equal to r transpose so this also belongs to w so hence vector addition is satisfied vector addition is satisfied right and now if i multiply this u with a scalar c that is let me take c as 2 then each element is multiplied with 2 1 into 2 2 1 into 2 2 1 into 2 2 and 2 into 2 4 the elements would be 2 2 2 4 again when i make it transpose i see that i will again get 2 2 2 4 right so that would make it a symmetric matrix again so scalar multiplication is also satisfied hence for vector space m2 cross 2 symmetric matrix subset is a subspace because it satisfies both the axioms or laws required to be declared as vector space that is vector addition and scalar multiplication hope the concept is clear otherwise kindly revisit the video again related to vector space and come back to this video to check on subspace now moving forward uh, yes again here if you see set of lower triangular matrices yeah we discussed already set of symmetric matrices now if we take lower triangular matrices that is a is equal to say the elements above the diagonal elements are zero right then we call it as an upper sorry lower triangular matrix right the set of lower triangular matrix is subset of m2 cross 2 right it is a non empty subset of 2 cross 2 so if i consider two lower triangular matrices then a plus b would result in again a lower triangular matrix that is 2 0 1 3 which belongs to w that is subset of m2 cross 2 that is subset of lower triangular matrices right and also c into a scalar multiplication say if i take c is equal to 2 then 2 0 4 4 this is also a lower triangular matrix matrix belonging to the subset of lower triangular matrices which is subset of m hence set of lower triangular matrices is a subspace hope the concept of subspace is clear